OpenAI just announced their new prompt caching feature to compete with Claude Anthropic, which released the same feature in August. What is it? How do you enable it on Typing Mind? How do you track the tokens saved by this feature? I'll answer that, so let's get a quick overview. Both emphasize the same idea, reducing latency and cost for repetitive prompts or frequently used contexts. GPT cuts latency by up to 80% and costs by 50% for long prompts, while Claude goes even further with up to 85% latency cut and 90% cost savings. This feature works with GPT models like GPT-40, GPT-40 Mini, O1 Preview, and O1 Mini. For Claude, it's available for Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus, and Claude 3 Haiku. OpenAI auto-applies prompt caching for conversations with 1,024 tokens or more. For Claude, you have to enable caching manually in the API call. If you're using Claude with Typing Mind, click the Models button in the global settings, scroll to the bottom, and turn on Prompt Caching to trigger it. Claude's cacheable prompts need 1,024 tokens for Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude 3 Opus, and 2,048 tokens for Claude 3 Haiku. For both, the cached prefixes last around 5 to 10 minutes. Overall, this feature is super handy for heavy AI users, like those who chat a lot, have long conversations, or frequently upload documents. Yep, it'll save you money. So, how do you track the tokens saved by this feature on Typing Mind? Let's upload a document and see what the AI has to say. I'll start with GPT-40 Mini and ask it about the document. After the AI replies, click the chat info button at the top right. No tokens are saved with the first question. Now I'll ask a follow-up question related to the initial document. What is the diagram the author mentioned? Still, nothing saved here. Let's try another question. Now you can see the total tokens cached, 46008, which is pretty close to the estimated tokens for the document I uploaded, right? Here's a tip for you. To make the most of prompt caching, place static content like instructions, examples, or uploaded documents at the beginning of your prompt or conversation. For Claude, you can do the same to see the results. For example, I'll reuse this document with Claude 3 Haiku and ask the first question, and then ask the second question, and you'll notice I've saved 4,999 tokens, which is super impressive. All right, that's all for now. If you want to read more about prompt caching, I've linked our documentation in the description. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It means the world to me. Happy typing, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.